This is a Mac OS based, DAS 3D to Blender Bridge tutorial. The Blender Bridge is just some scripts that will take a DAS 3D character and allow you to use the DAS 3D assets within Blender. It can also do things with DAS 3D morph targets to get them into Blender, but that is outside the scope of this demonstration. This tutorial will quickly show how to 1. How to create a very simple character in DAS 3D Studio. 2. How to run the DAS 3D to Blender Bridge script from within DAS 3D Studio. 3. How to run the Blender DAS Bridge add-on, which will import the model into Blender. 4. How to display the character and rigging, and create simple keyframe animation. The versions in use as of the 9th of September 2020 are DAS 3D Studio 4.12. Blender 2.90.0 and Macintosh OS Catalina 10.15.6. This is the high level process I used. Installed as central to install as 3D Studio and also go through the download and $0 purchase process for the DAS 3D to Blender Bridge. That is a zip file that you download and or supposedly gets installed separately during the DAS 3D installation process. When I downloaded the script it was placed into my downloads folder. I unzipped it there. Next we will open DAS Studio and create a character. Press open in DAS Central to open DAS Studio. Close the Welcome Video Home dialog box. Double click on the Genesis 8 female product to load a 3D character. Next find some appropriate clothing within the same character version for this to work properly. Add some shoes by double clicking on them. Next, add an acceptable outfit by double-clicking on it. Then, find some hair and double-click it to add it to the model. Now we are ready to run the bridge script. So I will go to the window menu, select the panes, tabs, and script IDE to bring up the script editor. Select File, Open Script. Then find the DAS to Blender DSA file that was in the zip file. Press Open. The file will load into the editor. Press Execute to run the script. There is a Select Subdivision dialog box prompt. Press Accept on the default of zero additional subdivisions, as this is the smallest model size to export. On the Input Morph Names dialog make sure the box is checked, then select Accept option to continue. The model will export and go into a default documents DTB folder. This folder will contain an FBX and an OBJ export of the 3D model. The export is always called DTB with the appropriate file extension. Quit the script editor and close DAS Studio. Now, open Blender 2.90 or whatever version you use. The DAS Studio Bridge script seemed to be created for Blender 2.8, but it does also seem to work in the latest Blender version. Delete the default cube. If the DAS to Blender tab is not appearing on your tool panel, you probably need to install it. Go to Edit, Preferences, and then search for DAS. Press Install to install a new add-on, then browse to the uncompressed zip file from your download. 
You may need to rezip the plugin directory if you don't have a zip version to install. Highlight the zip file and select Install Add on. Make sure the checkbox is selected to enable the add on. Close the Blender Preferences panel. Select the DAS to Blender tab on the side panel. Select Import to import the 3D model. Confirm it is OK to proceed with the import. When the import completes you should see it appear in the viewport, but the scale may appear to be off. I believe that the scale of the model is correct, but the camera scale seems to be off. I usually just use Ctrl, Alt, 0 to set the camera view for the existing camera. Select the material preview mode to see what the imported textures look like in Eevee. Be patient, this may take a little while. It takes my laptop 20 or 30 seconds to finally load in all of the textures. You will start out in pose mode, with the character rigging visible. The DAS to Blender bridge will display options available in the context that you have selected. My model has approximately 82,000 vertices. Next, I will show you how to create some simple keyframes using the inverse kinematic rigging. Select Pose Mode. Enable the inverse kinematic grab points on the model by pressing the appropriate hand or shin buttons. I select the left hand. Press the G key to grab the hand and move the box to also move the connected joints. Turn on Auto Keying in the Timeline panel. If you hit the Play button you can use the G key to move the model and generate automatic keyframes. One can see the keyframes appear in the timeline as the arm moves. That is all it takes to create a simple keyframe animation, not spectacular, but it demonstrates the capabilities quickly. Continue moving the arm to generate some more character movement and more keyframes. Next, I select the left shin and move the grab box that appears under the foot to move the leg. This will also generate the corresponding keyframe animation. When you are done, turn off the auto keying toggle. Press play to view your animation. Go crazy and create more keyframes if you want. As you can see the model, has a lot of different points you can use to move the character. If one goes into object mode and selects the character, the DAS to Blender menu will also allow you to modify some of the colors. You can check the X4 box to move the settings up or down, multiplied by 4. You can immediately see the impact of the settings on the character's textures. That concludes the demonstration of how I have used the DAS to blend a bridge on my MacBook laptop. Thanks for watching.